It's all here on Awesome Adventures. Welcome to Awesome Adventures. I'm Nicole, and this week we are in the incredible country of Croatia. You know, Italy and Greece get a lot of attention in this part of the world, but right at the doorstep is this hidden gem. And guys, seriously, Croatia has so much packed in. From the forest to the coast, there is one breathtaking spot after another. So whether you're the hiking type, the island type, or just an adventurer, Croatia's got you covered. Croatia is located along the Adriatic Sea in Europe, right across from Italy. We're going to base our adventures in between the capital city of Zagreb and the coastal city of Split. One of the many allures to Croatia is simply Mother Nature. In a country that's a little smaller than West Virginia, national parks and gorgeous coastlines invite you to experience natural beauty at its best. About two hours away from both Zagreb and Split are the Plebisse Lakes, one of the most amazing sights I've ever seen. Over 1,200 waterfalls rain down at seemingly every step of the way. 12 upper lakes flow down to four lower lakes, which then condense down to one river, creating an immaculate site best described as magical. Walking trails lead above, below, and alongside these serene waterways. These lakes are amazing studies in science. They're constantly changing and evolving. Plan on spending at least one full day here. This spot is truly one of a kind. A few hours away from this national park, you'll find the coastal city of Split. This city is home to the massive Diocletian's Palace, a Roman structure originally built between the 3rd and 4th century. Today the scene is a bit more modern, but remnants of the palace still exist. Beyond the national parks and beautiful coastlines, Croatia also has a plethora of islands scattered in the Adriatic Sea, and Split is your jumping off point to get to many of those spots. Our first stop is a little remote, so I'm gonna be flying solo to kick things off. Now, I took a boat to get here to the beautiful island of Vis. Now I'm gonna take another boat that will take us to another island, and then finally, one last boat that will take us to our first activity. It's a lot of boats, but like I said, it's remote. It took me two hours by boat to get to the island of Vis. Vis feels like a movie set with two perfectly constructed fishing towns on opposite sides of the island and inviting clear water off pebble beaches. From Vis, I hopped on one boat, then the next. I came all this way to see Besheva, or what's commonly known as the Blue Cave. The cave itself has a small entry in water. Wow. It can get a little rough. Whoa, it's big. Wow. I actually didn't expect the water to be this illuminated. It is bright. I mean, it looks like there is a light panel underneath the water. I honestly don't think I've ever seen water this clear. This is unbelievable. So we are now in the Blue Cave, as you can clearly see. This cave was discovered in 1884 and has become a world attraction because of its blue color. The water is so fluorescent because the sun actually reflects off of the sand at the bottom of this cave and turns into this turquoise blue color. I really didn't expect it to be this bright. This is fascinating. This is spectacular, but there is still so much more fun to come. Up next, 